Hi guys, it's Adam here from Dice Information Supplies and it's Friday which means I've got another tutorial video for you. Today we're going to unbox and install a Ricoh SG3110DN die sublimation printer. Okay, so first things first, we open up the box and on top there will be two envelopes. One contains a brief installation guide, so it's just a reminder of the steps that we're going to talk about today. And the second one is the technical documentation including the driver disc. Now you won't need the driver disc if you're using PowerDriver as that contains all the drivers for you. And if you're on Windows 7 or later, Windows will automatically detect that you've plugged in some new hardware and seek out those drivers. So once your printer's out the box and you've taken off the polystyrene and the plastic wrapping, this is what you've got. Now it's covered in little orange strips and basically all you need to do is remove these. Now to remove these, sometimes you may need to open certain compartments this compartment here contains the network cable port and the USB port for plugging the printer in. The back section, which is the duplex part, is also taped on. If you've got the A3 variant of this, that actually comes separate um, in a separate box, but it just slots in the back. Right. I'll get rid of the rest of these. This little port on top opens up to reveal the print surface and the uh, heads. That basically, if you get a paper jam, you need to have a look in there and get rid of those. And I think that's it all. Oh, no, nope. and there's a little bit on the front holding the paper tray closed as well. There we go. Okay, so now your printer is untaped. Last bit, there's always one bit. You need to put some ink in it. So the ink goes in here. It just clicks open and there's a guide to which cartridge goes where. Now, if you just brought the printer on its own, obviously there won't be any sublimation ink in here. If you've brought a starter kit or the printer with the ink from us, you will get a set of these. These are Subliget R inks from Sawgrass. Now to install these, take them out of the bag and they come wrapped in a protective film. Now the warning on the front just reinstates that you don't want to put original ink in this printer. Depending on where, as I say, depending on where you get it from, it might be in the box. Okay, so you don't want to do that, otherwise you're going to have to flush the whole printer. So we just carefully open the protective bag and we take the ink out, the little card falls off. And we literally just lean over, you have a look at which one it's going to go, and then you match the chip, I don't know whether you can see that at the top there, to the chip reader in the back and they just slide in nice and firm click the inks installed all you need to do is close up the cover and that's that sorted now there's a few things to discuss before I take this downstairs to the office the first I've already mentioned and that is this little plastic cover here there's a little catch at the bottom just to click that open and that contains a port for a USB cable and a port for a network cable and it also has two slots down the bottom which you feed those cables through so you can click that back in place once you've installed the printer and the second is this little port down here i'll just move that so you can maybe see it a bit better that is for a kettle plug and you will get one of these in with the printer okay so we'll take this downstairs we'll get it plugged in and i'll show you on the computer how to set your software up so now that we're sat at the computer with our printer connected, there are a few bits of software we need to download from the Sawgrass website in order to get things up and running. So we need to open up a web browser and we need to go to www.sawgrasseurope.com www Okay, that will bring up the Sawgrass website. Now we need to go to the software downloads and support section and download software. Now what it'll do is if you first time to the site it will bring up this screen and what you need to do is you need to click register here, fill in your details and create an account with Sawgrass, okay? Um, obviously I've already got an account so I'll just click login. Okay, I'll take a couple of minutes to log me in. That's great. So once you get this screen up, you then need to choose an ink. So in this case we're using the Subliget R inks. It'll then ask you to choose a printer and we are using the Ricoh SG3110DN and then choose an operating system so obviously pick the one that is relevant to you so in this case I will use Windows 7 
and choose a colour correction type as we're on a Windows we will use PowerDriver V4 although you can also download the um, ICC profiles if you so wish I would recommend going with PowerDriver for now this then brings this page up um, and you've got all your, inst your all installation and configuration instructions um, it's got a lot of other information, cobble troubleshooting tips but all we need to do at this stage is driver download now from here you will click on the Ricoh driver there and it will download onto your computer from here once that's downloaded obviously I've already got it installed so I won't go through that stage but it is um, simple enough um, step by step instructions will appear on the screen and you just follow those and once that's set up you are ready to go and that's the printer set up ready to use I hope you found that useful if you have any comments or questions get them in the comment section below subscribe for more tips tricks tutorials and again you can get us anywhere you can get us on all the social media or you can come to us direct at www.disublimationsupplies.co.uk thanks for listening guys and happy sublimating